The coffee is black. The robot is very, very frisky. And I'd like to welcome you to the Friday, July 25th edition of Modeling Blog Daily, where Bill just kind of rants. And you say, well, what do I do in this rant? I, I, I actually just kind of cover anything I want to talk about. And I wanted to go over uh, more uh, an overview of this kit that I got in from Lego. It's a Lego Dacta 1030 Technique. It's an old educational series of sets that was sold in 1990. And it came just like this in a, in a marvelous uh, plastic case. And you slide the lid off. And the lid is not just flimsy plastic. It's a real thick lucite. See, it's, it's, it's a real heavy. And then you slip it. See the lip right there? Then you slip it in the lip and make an easel. See, this is designed for the classroom, for the kiddos. And look how everything is laid out, just like ducks on a pond. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. The cards that come with it are in a separate kind of container and there are 20 cards. The first card deals with the set. See how you put the card up there and it just it's really neat and they show you the you know how it should be set up so I, I really do like the way they do these educational sets. They lay everything out organized so that if the kid is missing something, the, the teacher would immediately know that, well, he's missing one of these, let's find it. <laughs> it, it allows the, uh, the child to, 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 to learn order and organization in their, in their building. And then on the back of this, they show you how to pull out the, the lucite cover, how to tip up. See, these all hinge. Well, they don't hinge, but they just, they kind of all tip up. So if you want to get one out, you just put your finger down there and it kind of pops up. And uh, so everything is, is, has its place, everything is organized. The first training card shows you how to uh, do basic techniques for uh, building. And here you can see how they're reinforcing a vertical beam. They go over standard technique techniques <laughs> and with gearing, how to hook up a gear to a beam. Uh, and then on the back, it's unique on the back of all these cards, they have ideas. And, and here, uh, there's a, a hand extender deal idea. And, and basically, you're trying to learn something from the lesson. Here's, here's one that you're, they're going to teach you about bridges and the way the beams are uh, reinforced for structure support. There's a, there's a gate. There's in a house. And then when you get inside, you can you can uh, see all the the wonderful methods and for reinforcing a beam layout. It, isn't this layout just incredible? The way they they've done it. And then on the back again, you have ideas. And here we have a an idea for a little swing with a triangle support. This particular methodology is still being used by LEGO today. They don't have a set quite like this available, but they do have smaller educational sets. So if you have a child, you might want to consider picking up this uh, educational set. This is a 9614, and it teaches uh, uh, pulleys and levers, and, and, and basically they use the same principle. They have the cards. They've got one, two, there's a picture on the outside of what a real one looks like and then what it, the model looks like and then instructions. 
and they have the little bins and everything's highly organized for the kids. So they're, they're following, matter of fact, they even use, look here, they're using the yellow and the yellow. They use the yellow because it's easier to, to see the parts in contrast against the background. But I wish they re-kit this one because this is probably the best educational set that I've ever seen. Here's one on, on levers and wheelbarrows and, and there's a pair of uh, clappers. See, so you build a lever, you're, you're, you're learning how to do a fulcrum. Uh, you do a, make a nutcracker or a clapper, and there's a little wheelbarrow. Then on the back, for your exercise, you can try to build this uh, postal scale. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Here's one on the, on the pulleys. They teach you the, how a sewing machine works with a pulley. There's a, a saw, and there's a complex machine in a machine shop. And then you can use the pulleys and put, and you learn all about the pulleys. And then you can build this contraption on the back. Here's one that specializes in the gearing, with, uh, and and you you know can learn how to do the gears. I've been trying to teach you guys how to do gears for a long time, how to do slow downs. Well, here they they're teaching this in the classroom. Here's one. Um, on on the like there's a, a manually operated screwdriver egg beater and uh, and they they're trying to teach you the principle of the 90 degree uh, gear and how it works and then they have you do a manually operated uh, screwdriver when you're done that's a pretty sharp model too here's one uh, on um, like windshield wipers and and uh, on a car and how they work and and here you can see that it's it uses this probably the, the internals of a windshield wiper and on, on the back here you can build a like one of those signs on the railroad now this is the one that I did uh, last night and I called it my oil filled sucker pump <laughs> and they're teach they're trying to teach you how to do the the wheels and um, and and levers together and here they they did a, like a windmill you know when you turn the wheel and then it has a lever action up and down but this was a marvelous model and check out my bill's creation video on this it's a it, 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 I hooked the motor up to it and it's <clears throat> it's really just like the real thing and they go on and on and there's 20 of these all together. If you are a homeschooler, you need to get this. I don't care how you get it. Uh, Bricklink, eBay, that's about the only way you're going to do it. 1990, it's hard to find, but it's well worth it. Bill and Red and a robot through the loose site. Say sayonara, friend. Have a great Friday, guys. See ya.